M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the Yaesu FTM100, C4FM, VHF, UHF radio, and the HRI200 box. Now, why do we use the HRI200 box? Because instead of the SCU20 cable, because it gives us our own room and we can use it in FM analog quite easily without any additional cables apart from the 10 pin cable that comes with the HRI200 that connects on the back of the FTM100 which I will show you. Now to get the radio into HRI200 mode you just hold down the two orange buttons and then turn on the radio and remember you do need an extra radio, now we've got the uh, FT2D here, to communicate because once you've used the HRI200 with a radio you lose the function of that, you lose that radio and you're talking via um, you know basically a walkie talkie on the same frequency which can be set the frequency can be set within the software. This is the software Wirezek. You do need to register. I'll just show you where you set it. It goes file, transceiver, and then you get this box and you set the frequency here. Okay. The Wirezek software, just put into Google Wirezek and you'll have a, a page like this. You need to register and there's a little registration box that you tick or select and they'll send you an email and you register and you get two numbers. You get a room number and an I, a node number and a room number. You need them to activate the wires X. So I'll just show you where the cable connects. You've got a 10 pin cable here going into radio one, it says at the back. And then that goes into the 10 pin connector on my FTM 100. Now, if you're using an analog radio, you can use a 10 pin to six pin connector and then you'll be in the analog room. And that's one of the pluses about um, using the HRI 200 box. Although you can use a SCU kit to try and achieve this, but it's not the same. So if I just pick up my FTM now, uh, sorry, FT2D, and if we connect to a room like so, so connect to, we've selected 27793, which is CQ UK. Straight away, what you're gonna see in here is the audio coming out of the FT2D and the, the the FTM 100 is TX in now in digital and we, we can actually select analog let me just show you the back of the HRI 200 a sec so I am just powering this actually using my uh, motorcycle battery but anyway if we try and zoom in get some focus if you look, see, it's going 10 pin going into radio one, and if we move that over, and then it goes into the back of the FTM 100. Get these the right way around, be very careful putting them in. Then we've got the USB cable, which also powers the HRI 200, just going into my laptop. So it's a very straightforward setup, and the thing that you can do when you're using the HRI 200 box is, when you go into transceiver settings, the thing you can't do with the SCU 20 is look, if I disconnect let's still go up here and disconnect like so disconnect now you can right click on some of these down here and add them as shortcuts so if we go like like that right click add bookmark it appears up the top as a shortcut anyway so we're disconnected now we're going to go to file transceiver and what you can do here which you can't do the other one is you can go you can select FM, click apply, and that will pass that to the radio. Now the radio is now in FM, so if we reconnect now on the same room, now it does need to have been configured for FM, so wait for someone to speak. Well, there's someone speaking now, well, no, we're not getting it because it's FM. Now I'm not sure if that will go through to my FT2D. Let's change it to FM. Uh, band warp mode. Down, right. Now we do any, uh, anyway, yeah. So there you go. We're now receiving CQ UK uh, yeah, uh, or America okay, Link, but we're receiving it uh, in FM, call, uh, even though it's a digital room. Just, uh, and I don't have to use this radio. Let me grab my bow phone. Yeah. Right. I've got my little bow phone here. So, and we're still on the use going via the FTM three hundred. And we've got the software running, so let's give, an, let's give a call out for an audio check. You'll see that my screen will go into TX. Sorry about the blurry image. Mic Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo audio check. Hello, 
Now we've got some feedback because I need to turn something off. There you are. Okay, I've turned off the, the volume on, on this. So we just try again. You'll see the radio go into sort of receive when I'm doing it. Mic Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, M0 FXB for audio check. And we work again, Wires X system there. No one's coming back. We'll just see, wait for someone to talk. X3 Bravo, you're coming Bravo and clear. There's uh, BBC audio quality over here in Tokyo. So did you hear that in uh, no Tokyo? Problem at all. Uh, M0, Fox X Bravo, this is JR1, Fox Victor Q. And they said BBC quality in Tokyo. I'm on a Bofung. And remember, this software is free, but the boxes are about a hundred odd pound. So let's come back to him. M0 FXB. Oh, thanks for the test. I'm just setting up my YSX HRI 200 box. Actually talking into a Bofung. So I've got the box in analog mode uh, via the YSX system. Um, and you're also BBC Quality here into the South West UK. So uh, nice to meet you. And I, my name is Andreas and my call sign is M0FXB. So remember, everything we hear is coming from the Bofung. If I turn it down. Why are we not hearing that? Well, it does work, promise. This is Jay Power uh, 1. There you are, quick audio test. Yeah, it went on to, it was receiving the B section, that's why it cut out. Yeah, okay, well thanks very much, thanks for the test, and I'll, I'll stand by unless anyone else calls me. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray, Bravo. So there you are, analog mode, Bofung, using the YSX system. Bye for now, 7-3. Please remember to subscribe to my channel.